Zoom H1n has been widely regarded as one of the best options for beginners as an audio recording device. It's been around for many years now, ever since 2018, but is it still worth getting in 2023? Well, let's take a look. Yeah, I recently got one for myself and the price has gone up from two years ago when I was thinking of buying it. I think it's because the dollar value is getting stronger. Anyway, it's a fairly minimal looking box, nothing much else. Yes, this thing is powered by AAA batteries. I had purchased AA batteries earlier, thinking that I would need that, but nope, it's those smaller varieties that you use in remotes and stuff. I personally don't like it. I wish this was a rechargeable lithium ion battery. Maybe there's an adapter or something that I can purchase separately. You must read the usage and safety precautions before use. Yeah, right. I'm not a kid. And there is the device itself. Wow, that's really light. It feels like a toy. <laughs> Just like all the other people mentioned, it's entirely made of plastic and feels hollow. I guess it's a good thing. I mean, this is a portable recorder. It's meant to be carried around, so it shouldn't be too heavy or bulky. I am concerned about the durability long term though so be careful with this thing there's a pretty good quality dial up top that can adjust the gain that's good the cage around the mic seems a little bit stronger than the rest of the body so that's good and this is where the device shows its age micro usb port really when was the last time you saw that? I mean, there is no micro USB cable in the box either, so you better have one lying around. I don't, so I guess I'll have to purchase one separately now. You can also buy one of those adapters from Type-C to micro USB or something. But yeah, th this has a micro USB port for data transfer. You do, however, get some handling noise like this. So probably it's not a good idea to hold it in your hand all the time because the plastic body is kind of flimsy and it makes a lot of noise. It does have good features, like I mentioned, it has a headphone out so you can immediately monitor your audio using an IEM or any headphone you have. It's quite handy and those kind of features are the hallmarks of a professional grade gear. Consumer grade gear usually don't have stuff like that. You can actually start hearing what the microphone hears even before you start recording. So you can set the levels beforehand and then start recording. To eliminate that handling noise problem, you can use something like this, a secondary mic plugged into this thing with, a, with an adapter. I mean, if it's a standard TRRS 3.5 millimeter jack, meaning that, you know, with the three lines, uh, you can't use that directly you will have to convert that to trs you'll get those adapters pretty cheap usually it's included with the mic so just use that and you are fine now see now you can handle this thing you can move it around it's fine this is the recording mic now and it's just acting as a, a dac and a recorder it sounds pretty good even though it looks kind of jank who cares functionality over aesthetics let's go and it sounds pretty good, doesn't it? I've been using it this whole video with this external microphone, but you can also use it directly like this. It has microphones on it, which are pretty good. I've been monitoring audio with this earphone from the audio out jack. So yeah, it works well. Let me take you through the initial setup process. Let's put batteries in there. Damn, be careful with that door. I almost broke it while trying to open it. It's pretty fragile. I wish it was a little bit better built for the price, but anyway, this is what we have. To power it, you just slide this power button down for like two seconds and the display lights up. You can choose between two languages, English and Chinese, I believe. I'll just choose English. You can choose the date and time and press that record button to save your settings. It does require a micro SD card because that's where it records the audio. So let's insert one. I have a 32 gig card lying around. You don't need anything fancy, just a regular class 10 SD card will do just fine. And now you can set a few things things. You can of course choose the audio quality. I went for the highest possible one at 96 kilohertz. That records at 24 bits. So that's the highest that this device can go. And based on the quality you choose, you see the time that you have with the SD card that you've inserted. So I can record up to seven hours. That's a lot. There's even a low cut filter built in. So if there's a lot of wind noise around you, you can use this to suppress that. There's a limiter which can help you reduce any sudden loud noises. And there's auto level which can help you kind of balance the audio automatically. I recommend recommend you leave it on. To start recording, you just press the middle record button, it'll light up the LED and there you go, it's recording now. You can even pause the recording halfway by using this play pause button, it'll stop recording for a while. You can press it again to start recording and press that giant red button again to save that recording. You can preview and playback that file right there, it has a tiny speaker, but I recommend you use a headphone to actually listen to it. To turn it off, you press down this button and hold it for like 3 seconds and there is even a hold lock position. So that the button doesn't accidentally trigger. A lot of thought has gone into this design. I like it. I just wish it was a little bit better built and I wish it had a micro USB cable in the box and on that topic maybe it even had a rechargeable battery instead of those two tiny AAA ones. But yeah you've heard the quality so far. To answer that question is this worth it in 2023? Well not for everyone. Let me explain. 
you see if you're in a situation like me where you have some sort of an online earning thing where you make content and make money from it then i guess this can be a worthwhile investment because you can only go so far with software tuning with audacity or any other editor i mean that's what i have done every single video before this one i have recorded everything on my phone video and audio and i have edited that using audacity i think it sounds pretty good and in fact most modern phones can do the same 24 bit audio in wav format so it's the same high quality audio you don't need this device to record professional grade audio that being said this is designed for audio recording so it's it's going to be a lot more reliable and easy to use compared to a phone or any other device i mean most phones don't offer this feature you know live playback of the audio like you don't even have to start recording just plug in your headphone and it starts playing immediately so you can set your levels as i mentioned and it allows you to have a proper professional setup but if you're just a beginner and you think like uh, you need this to record superb quality audio no that's not true in fact i think i'll make a video on how to record great quality audio on your phone is that something you're interested in i have made a video on how to make great quality videos with your phone camera but uh, if you're interested in audio let me know because good audio is really important i mean i think most people watch videos on their phone so if the video quality is amazing but if the audio sucks you probably won't watch it for too long but if the audio quality is really good you can forgive poor quality video so if you're wondering which one should i upgrade first always go with audio and it also makes sense financially because audio upgrades are a lot more affordable than video quality upgrades that is if you're planning to buy a camera it's definitely going to be way more expensive than this thing it's only like around a hundred dollars i don't think you will get a good camera at all in hundred dollars i have a fairly profitable youtube channel so i can justify buying this my channel is growing so it's it only makes sense for me to invest more into this remember i never bought this for the first two three years i wanted to buy this two years ago but my channel wasn't profitable so I did not buy it. So you don't need this. Like I mentioned there are a few things you can do using free software that can make your phone audio sound just as good. So again let me know if you're interested in seeing that. And if you have any further questions on Zoom H1n uh, let me know if you want to see a more in-depth review on it.